AC Guy 1948 here. Got a new mower for uh, doing my yard with. Been looking at uh, getting a good zero turn, and this uh, this seems like it's a pretty good zero turn. The hour meter's been replaced. It's only got 30 hours on it, so don't know what the actual hours are, but judging by the stickers and how good a shape they're in, I'd say it's not too terribly abused, at least. It has the 60-inch deck on it. And a 24 horsepower on an engine. I just had to replace the belt. We'll go into that in a minute when I get it wheeled out here. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and fire this thing up and get out in the daylight where you guys can see it better. Nice seat. Give her a little choke. I'm ready for it. Line 724Z or do we? Bum bum bum. That's a Dixie chopper. I don't know what the model is. But <laughs> what Toro did, they uh, went to Dixie Chopper and actually had them paint some of theirs red and sold theirs through them. <laughs> so technically, I have a Dixie chopper here. Uh, according to the tractor data, this one was probably made between 93 and 96 I believe it said hold on 95 93 and 95 weighs a thousand pounds you could get this with either a 50 or 60 inch cut this has the 60 inch on it um, yeah, weighs a thousand pounds all right I think I covered all the 24 horse owning two cylinder engine and I've, in this same engine, I've also seen on a John Deere model that um, had a seven or a six foot deck on it, 72 inch. So, so it's definitely got the power to run a 60 inch, no problem. If they're putting it on that sort of setup, dual tanks. I believe it said six gallons between the two tanks, but I haven't had to fill it yet. Let's see if it says. No, this one didn't say. One of them said six um, six gallons, one of the options for this. But 
could be six or eight gallons. The transmissions are Eaton 7s or 700s. Apparently, these are kind of known to go bad, but um, so far these are in good shape. There aren't many videos on YouTube of any of these that have a chain drive. This one's got a little slop starting in it, but it's got an adjuster in there with a lot of... Uh, you can slide it forward and backwards, so there's a lot of play in there to tighten these chains up good, so i got to get them lubed up. But what these do, it comes to a comes off the engine into a T-box and then out to both the hydros. And then you go down and then it, the chain goes down. Drives right here and then this is like a gear reduction to send it down to the wheel. So I may tighten that one up. It's, it's just a little loose. I think the other side might be a little tighter. No, this one's really loose. So I'll tighten those up. Just loosen two bolts and slide it. Uh, got your fuses right there. All the decals are still, there's the model number and serial. So, needs new tires. They're getting kind of cracked, but that's okay. I'm thinking about putting more of a normal turf tread on here. These knobby ones, they're uh, slightly aggressive on the yard. Also the same style that this little held hauler has. <laughs> I got this little Toro too. I might rob that off and put it on that, that big one. <laughs> put it about there or something. That's about all I got to say on this. Let's go into taking this top plate off and looking into how the belt's set up. And there we have it. Now, it's uh, actually really easy to take this off. There are two bolts. One here and one there, there and there on the corners and then the thing just picks up, slides forward and off you go. You can get to your deck. And what a deck it is. Your battery is right here, real easy to get at. I like that. Uh, previous owner had a new battery put in it, so that was good. Uh, really sturdy deck. I like the way it's set up. They had a half inch belt rigged onto this thing. And it wasn't the previous owner, I think it was the guy he bought it from. But, uh, yeah, so it needed a 5 8 And this is a 130, okay, it is a 135 inch, but it's not the correct belt size from the factory. I'm able to get this off the shelf easy. The only other option was a 122 inch, and that didn't fit. 135 I was able to make work. So what the actual one is, I still do not know. I could not find it anywhere online. The manuals didn't say anything. So what I did was go ahead and make something work that I can get available. So if this does shred a belt off, I can get another one. Fairly simple. Hopefully it'll last a while. So far, it seems to be doing good. It's a little messed up from my trial and error. Because I tried a couple different things. But, real easy to make this the way you want. So we got your PTO up here. And then down here, there are actually different adjustment holes. I don't know if you can see that. I can't really see what you're seeing. There are different holes up under here. And what I did, I came down here a little bit from this one. Drilled a hole. And it, like, uh, it kind of worked better, but it kept throwing belts off. So I came forward a little bit from that, or went down a little more and forward and was able to fit this onto there. So it's way down from where the factory ones wanted it, but it's it's putting more tension on it. So now everything's working. And there's a twist in this belt. It's kind of weird. And this is how the manual says to do it. It's supposed to be a V groove coming this way. And it goes up, around, and it turns around and it's flat going back. And see how that's a flat belt? And then it comes up here. And it comes back and it turns around into a, a V groove. 
<laughs> I don't like how it's twisted around, but that's the way they do it. Comes back into a V groove, goes around this roller, back with the, you know, flat to the back, and it comes up around this as a V groove, and then goes straight back as a V groove. So, everything seems to work fairly well with it. It's got clearance. Maybe I could have made it a little tighter, but uh, seems to work good so far. I haven't had any issues. I've driven it around, mowed the yard a bit with it, and hit some hard bumps, seeing if I could actually throw it off, and haven't been able to flip it off, so that's a good thing. So if that flips off, we'll go ahead and do another choosing their spot, and we'll make it a little tighter. But uh, I like that it's customizable fairly easily, and I love how heavy this frame is that is solid that is one heck of a bumper so i doubt i'm going to be messing these spindles up if i hit something it should, this should take a pretty good blow but uh yeah there's really no information on these online not a whole lot that i've seen and i'd kind of like to there's the model number on the deck Kind of wanted to um, do a good video. You got your parking brake here. You got to make sure that thing's engaged. See, the starter won't turn on with it there. It's got a safety switch over there. And uh, all the grease points I'm going to have to hit. Might do a separate video on where all they are. I don't know how many people actually use these things in, uh, in running. I mow a few people's yards and was kind of wanting a zero turn and something bigger. So... This checked off both of those boxes. How reliable it's going to be? Well, time will tell. But uh, those, as long as I keep up on the maintenance on these and that, the fluid looks really, really clean in these. So, looked fairly clean at least. I might change, go you know, through the hydrant. I don't know. I'm kind of worried to change the fluid out if it's working good. So, but. We'll see. So yeah, basically the, the three scariest points are here, here, and here. The rest of it's not too terrible. This engine seems to run good, and that's not really a scary thing for me. If it goes bad, I can always throw something else on it, you know. That's no biggie, but those three spots there are the biggest concern. <laughs> the chains don't bother me, it's just that hydrostat setup so even if it goes down i should be able to figure something out for getting her up and going again so that's another thing i like it's simple dixie chopper knew what they were doing when they built a mower so and it's fast um tractor data says it tops out at eight so i believe it and it's supposed to mow good at six i believe that's what the ad said it mows good at six but it'll top out at eight so that's that's plenty fast for the yards I'm doing. I've have a, I did a video yesterday where I went the length of this yard and back, and it's like 56 seconds. So something like that. So it it, it does a good job. I need to sharpen the blades. Um, the blades on this seem to be a different style than what they came with. They got the got the little grooves cut into them back here for cutting stuff up but it does have the long blade it's supposed to have a blade that goes all the way to the tip almost it, eh, can't really see can you but yeah they need sharpen they're pretty dull <coughs> so they're not terrible but i'll give them a little sharpening so yeah i guess that's going to do it for this video um we'll throw that cover back on like I say, real simple. You just got to slot it underneath there. Two bolts. And uh, this thing has been really handy. I'm getting off on something else, but... <laughs> Roto wrench. You can just uh, choose what size wrench you need. I've been using using this thing more than I thought I would. And you just pull back and you can twist. and You got from 5 16 all the way up to 3 quarter. But... It's definitely come in handy for stuff. 
So we'll throw that back together and take her for a quick little run around the yard. It's kind of wet this morning, but I will go ahead and do it for the video's sake. All right, and we're back in business. Two bolts and tighten them down. We're good to go. Also has a little <laughs> drink holder. Put your water bottle there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and that. And I might make a little tray or a little toolbox and mount it up here or on that. It's probably on that side. Hold stuff like a wrench and whatnot. But sometimes it is nice to carry stuff like that just in case. Parking brakes engaged. Oh, and another thing. This has a foot control deck, which I still... Oh, I gotta fix this seat. She kind of slides back easy. You hit it with your heel, and then you can let it down. Or you can... Okay, I guess it's not so bad. I just need to lube it up, I guess. It was giving me some issues yesterday trying to get it figured out. But it seems to work good. Pretty simple. It's got little chains that pick up on the deck. So, all right. Honestly, I don't know if it matters where these things are positioned or not. I don't think it's got safety switches in there. Let's see. No, it doesn't matter. All right. the yard up too much. I've been trying to get this yard to regrow. I was aiming to do another video on that. Oops. Parking brake. Well, here's kind of what the yard's looking like. I've like been tearing it up. Killed it. again. Too low idle.
guess that carb a little bit. It doesn't like to go. Well, it idled out. Okay. So, yeah. She mows. She runs. There's an okay job, I guess. But I guess it does okay. It needs a little bit of sharpening done. But it does its job. It beats the grass down. See, those tires just, they leave an awful big rut. Even when they're not doing a zero turn or doing a turn, they still, you can see where the tires have been for sure. <laughs> So, all right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I might do one on the grease fittings and possibly the uh, chain adjustment because I do need to adjust the chain. Excuse me, just the chain a little bit. Take these blades off. See about sharpening them, or I might do them on the mower. I don't know yet. We will see. So. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. For, um, have a great day. <laughs> Another little detail. I know Dixie Chopper liked using uh, stainless steel on their mowers, but I'm not entirely sure that this is stainless steel. It looks like it's got rust starting. So maybe they hadn't gotten to that point where they started using it yet in the early 90s maybe that came later i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know the whole history of uh, dixie chopper or maybe they used steel on this because made it a little cheaper than they did theirs i don't know 